So it's day 19 in the AH and JD situation, and I'm wondering if we're going to see a day 20 tomorrow. If you remember for the past couple of weeks, we've had breaks on Friday, but things might be a little bit different now since we're getting close to all of this wrapping up. There's only one more week left. So next week we'll have rebuttal and closing arguments and then we wait for a verdict. It's kind of crazy. It's been a long road to get here. Years, in fact. So it's it's wild to think of this actually ending, even though it probably won't. I think no matter what the income, there's going to be an appeal. Who knows if that goes forward? This could be a year. This, this case could take years, but we'll find out how things are going to go in a week. And then I think, I don't know how long they're going to have to come up with a verdict. That's a whole nother question. I don't think they have long though. I think they have a couple of days and then the judge wants them to come back with something. So it's going to be, things are going to get real interesting over the next couple of weeks. What's not interesting is today's testimony, which is absolutely awful. We're still in AH's side of things and she's bringing up, video depositions nonstop and they're they're awful. In fact, Court TV representative here that's there is saying the jury seemed tired today as AH videos played several jurors yawned, rubbed eyes, put head in hands. Still, some took occasional notes. They perked up when a live witness, which was of course AH's sister, took the stand. But then the yawns continue. Now, this is from yesterday's testimony, May 18th. The reason I think this is interesting is because today's has been even worse. I can't believe they're doing this. They're calling up. First, they they called up Johnny's lawyer, Adam Waldman, which was weird because that went bad for them. They called up his ex-agent, his ex-manager, who I believe stole money from him. He sued him, I think. He sued somebody because there's a whole story of, of Depp losing $650 million, I believe. So they're calling up these people that just obviously don't like Depp, and that was their point, that they don't like Depp. Seemed like a complete waste of time. And the videos were extremely boring. Walden Waldman's was really interesting, and we're going to get to that. Uh, just on the basis that he actually name-dropped. He name-dropped. Uh, Tug, which was pretty cool. Congrats to him. A good friend of mine. Known him for a long time. Uh, So it's been cool to see him blow up like he has. And he's worked hard for it. He's been covering this case for a long time, and he's really getting his due right now. So he got got name-dropped during the deposition. He's even in the court documents here, as you can see, along with that Brian fella and the real Laura B., which is pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. So I'm pretty happy for him. Uh, Confirmed that he has talked with Adam Waldman. And all his sources are legit. So he's uh, he's had links to Johnny's lawyer. A lot of people gave him him a lot of crap over the past uh, two years when he's been, like, breaking stuff, breaking, breaking stuff for this case. And the media catches up with him months later. This is why I went ahead and made that video yesterday on Jennifer Howe, because I talked to Tug about it. And I consider his information pretty legit when it comes to this case, because he knows people on the inside. And he can finally talk about that now. I don't think he could before, but now that it's out there, he can go ahead and do that. So pretty cool for him. Congrats to him. But for the jury... These video depositions are boring because think about it. I know a lot of you are sitting around and watching this trial and think about how boring it is to watch these video depots, but you can surf the internet, look at other things, read stuff, watch something else. They're forced to sit there and watch this boring crap. It seems like a pretty awful strategy for AH who I, and I think her side has done an awful job so far and they're just wasting time. They only have a certain amount of time that they can, they can do this defense that they're doing, and they're just wasting on useless people. I think it says a lot that she can't get anybody but her sister to come to the courtroom. 
Uh, JD can, has gotten a whole bunch of people to come to the stand, but she can't get anybody to come in and, and speak for her. And when they do, it's nothing but stuff that contradicts things that she says. She's even contradicted her own testimony a couple of times. And the people that she's had to speak for, even her sister, has told a completely different story that she did. It's different than, than AH's. And it's just, what are they doing? She's got some terrible representation. They are not doing a good job uh, for her. And I suppose that's a good thing, maybe, or just really maybe they just know they don't have a case. She never expected to be in this situation. Never. And here we are. So just uh, an awful day for the jury. And I just don't think anything is getting through to them. I really hope they're noticing this stuff right here. Uh, like this. A.H. is caught contradicting herself in her testimony Monday. None of my op-ed is about J.D. The only one who thought it was about J. is J. Tuesday, my op-ed was not just about him, but he is included in that, yes. And they got the clips right here. I don't want to play it because it's NBC claimed and they might try to get it. Just like Law & Order. But Several several times she's contradicted herself, and uh, I'm really hoping that the closing arguments and the rebuttals really nail that in. Really looking forward to their closing argument, and I hope Camille delivers it. She's by far the most effective weapon that they have, uh, and she's an overnight sensation because of it. People asking for pictures from her, to her from from her at the courthouse. Her, their PR machine, by the way, I do have to give them credit. Now they actually have a paid supporter. This guy uh, with an AH sign outside the courthouse says, Asians for Amber. I stand with AH, justice for AH. Uh, he seems like he's like a paid person to be there because there's nobody there representing him. Like, look at one of the few AH supporters outside the courthouse today talked to Court TV and how he perceives this as an unfair bias against AH and bullying on social media. It's like, oh, we got to get somebody there, so let's just pay him, which you can do. That's not illegal. Pretty sure you can pay someone to go there and be a protester. So just interesting stuff. And so I don't know if there'll be any coverage of the trial tomorrow. Because I don't know if there's going to actually be a trial tomorrow. Like I said, we'll find out by the end of the day. But we're getting close to the end game here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to get pretty hot. Anyway, let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. It's usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.